Now that you've practiced your symmetry with your smaller pieces of paper, and this is the one that I did before, I'm taking a piece of 9 by 12 construction paper. You're going to choose whatever construction paper color that you would like. You get to decide on the color of your creature. Um, this is torn up here, but I'm not going to worry about that because I'm going to be cutting out of it. So again, the first thing I'm going to do, now you have to decide, is your creature going to be tall? And if your creature is tall, you're going to fold your paper the long way. If your creature might be shorter, you're going to fold your paper this way. I think I want my creature to be tall, so I'm going to fold my paper down like this and holding in the middle, going up and over and up and over. And again, I want my paper to be like I'm opening a book. The fold is going to be on this side and the opening is going to be on this side. Now I'm going to use a pencil because this is a lighter paper and I'm going to start playing around with my creature. Now when you think about a person or a creature, you might think, okay, well we have half of a head, so I might do a curve here for half of a head and I might have an ear and that head's going to come in and half of a neck and then I might have an arm and what's your arm going to look like? And is my arm going to have, maybe my creature has three fingers and he comes down and is my creature kind of a wide body? And does my creature have maybe multiple legs? Something like that. So who knows, maybe this is like a little skirt or something. Uh, that's my creature. So um, we'll, we'll see what happens. So now that you've done this, and again, if you make a mistake, you know that you can take this, fold it so that the design is on the inside and try another one on this side. And you also actually have this side. So you have a couple different ways of doing this. So this is my creature right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to cut my creature out. Now we want to make sure we try not to cut inside the lines, try and cut on the lines or outside the lines. We don't want to make your creature any smaller than it already is and hopefully you've used up a good amount of space. So I'm going to have this symmetrical, and I could have added a crown to my creature. So you kind of decide what is your creature going to look like and I want you to see some of the examples that I put up on the board because there's a couple different creature examples that students have done in the past that you can get inspiration from. So here's, whoops, there's my little ear and there's my head. So again, I can take, now this paper's a little bit bigger, so I'm going to put this in the recycling bin. Remember when we did our, um, our communities and we used a recycle bin? I'm going to put this in the recycle bin because there's some big paper that we could use for another project later on. So now I can open up my design and again I'm going to use art sticks, um, colored pencils or crayons and I'm going to be able to go in and I could add um, maybe my creature has is wearing Maybe my creature is wearing a dress and this is the dress that comes across here and these are the little legs and maybe I draw some little shoes on them. Well, maybe she's wearing like little tap shoes. We got some little shoes and maybe she has kind of little fingernails. And then you decide on a face. These are her ears, so on and so forth. So you can get to kind of design this. Um, and then again, make sure your name is on the back. And all of this is going to go back into your table folder for next class. I can't wait to see what you create. Have a great time.